Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, first video in a very long time. Had a lot going on. But I do want to get to something. I figured I'd make a video on it. And that is the front steering shaft. There's a rubber boot uh, right at the end that goes into the steering gear. And it's uh, ripped. It doesn't even, it's not even actually on there. It's totally gone. And uh, let me see if I can show you that. You can see down there, there's no boot at all. And uh, I bought this a long time ago, the part here. And it's basically this piece. So the steering shaft goes into there. I believe this part goes on the steering gear. Here's the replacement boot. And it's a whole little kit here that uh, will fix all this. But basically what I need to do is I have to uh, remove... Oh, come on, light. I have to remove uh, this shaft you got to remove it out from the housing down here. And I have to remove it right here. Take this nut out. And one of the things I have to do, though, is uh, unbolt, unbolt the uh, steering column from inside the cab. And uh, pull the steering wheel back a little bit. The whole steering column from inside the cab. Loosen the bolts, pull it forward a little bit, and what that'll do is that'll give uh, a lot of play in the steering shaft here. It'll allow me to release it from the coupling that is is right there. But uh, biggest problem I have here is this tiny effing garage. It is just packed. I've got uh, woodworking tools, my toolbox, which takes up half the garage. The Jeep is smushed in here. And uh, I gotta get this bike out of the way. I mean, it really stinks, this garage, but what I have to work with. And on top of it, come down this way, Okay, I gotta squeeze through here. I've got the snow blower behind it. I don't think it's gonna snow anymore. So uh, I'm gonna get this snow blower out of here. And uh, I think I'll back the Jeep up a little bit or towards me, back it out a little bit. And then I'll be able to have a bunch of room to work up front. I'm also going to take the door off the driver's side because you can see uh, you got to be underweight to, to squeeze in here. And this, this Darren thing gets me every time. And one day I'll just stop being lazy. I'll just, you know, sort of chop it off. Probably take me 10, 15 seconds. I'm just so lazy about it. Good riddance. So, I'll get started on that and, uh, and then we'll get this, uh, get this project started. Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> Kiss me.
All right, so first order of business is to loosen up the steering column and try to get some play in it so I can move it a few inches back and forth. So two nine sixteenths bolts. couple half inch bolts that uh, connect the bottom of the steering column here to the firewall. Uh, there's a plate and then it kind of clamps around the bottom of the steering column. So I took two of those out, loosened up the plate. You can see there's a lot of play now in the uh, st steering column. So now we'll move to the engine bay and see if uh, See if we can uh, disconnect the steering column from the steering shaft. So it's out. This is the clamp. This is the clamp. You really got to stretch this thing out, loosen it up. And then I just took a hammer, like a ball peen hammer, and just started hammering away, pushing it off the steering column. Looks like I got to take it out, pull it out from below. So this is it. You can see the end. These are like the bearings those caps come off and this is uh let me prop this up a little bit better this end here goes on the steering column this clamp goes over there squeezes it you really got to take this off to disassemble it and I just took a hammer started hammering here pushing it this way and it comes off you can see it's splined so when you reassemble it you got to make sure you line the splines up correctly you don't want to mash them together uh, all right so now I got to get the the uh, there's like a housing that goes on the steering gear I believe it's bolted on and uh, I gotta go down below and take that off. For now, we'll put the steering column on, uh, steering shaft rather, on the bench. And uh, we'll try to remove uh, basically this piece. Let me show you. This metal housing, uh, we gotta get that off of the steering gear. All right, so let's go do that. All right, so you can see it here. This piece here, we gotta take off. You can see there's like a uh, five eighths, uh, maybe not, maybe like a half inch or nine sixteenths bolt. It's just like a clamp, like above. So we'll get that bolt out and this is splined also and it's splined onto the uh 
the shaft that comes out of the steering gear. So uh, let me set up the camera here so you can watch and I'll try and get struggle to get this thing off. All right, that looks like a good shot. Got it. All right. So here is the assembly that went on the steering shaft. You can see the light's not that great, but it, it is splined in there. This gets packed with grease. And <clears throat> so these like two bearing caps uh, yeah, that's a little better. These two bearing caps go in like that. They just get put in there. They're just sort of like little bearings like that. And it's sort of like a, like a half U-joint. You pack it with grease. But the important thing is there's a rubber boot that goes over this whole assembly. It goes in here and then it wraps, wraps around the end here. And it keeps the dirt and grime out, keeps the grease in. That's the important thing. So, you know, that is what, why I started this is because that boot was gone. Uh, and it's just a matter of time before this whole thing fails. So, uh, first thing I need to do is get these caps off and there's a, like a drift pin that I need to move over otherwise you'll never get the uh, the rubber boot over all of this so let me go set up the vise and uh, we'll see if we can get get that pin moved over all right let me clean this off okay you can see here now these these bearing caps just come right off I believe Let's see what comes in this kit. This is a clip that holds a boot on. Okay, yeah. So it's got new bearing caps in there. I'm calling them bearing caps. I have no idea. I'm not a mechanic. I just play one on YouTube. So here's the boot, here's the clamp, this goes around the steering shaft, it's another bearing cap, new housing, and I'm kind of curious, another clip of some sort, I think this clip is what's missing here. I think this clip uh, holds these bearing caps on. We'll find out. It 
don't see an excessive amount of wear. Let's compare it. It's hard to tell. But, you know, replace them anyways. And I just kind of want to clean out this this uh, housing. Just curious of how worn it is. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so this this clamp. So there's like a five eighths bolt. Okay, let's get this off. All right, so you can see it's sort of like keyed. So as the bolt goes through the clamp, it sits in this groove and it sort of keys it in there. It's pretty interesting. So obviously we'll reuse this and just clean up the, the bolts and, and reuse it. You can see this clamp is quite worn. Somebody's been messing with this before I don't know what owner I am I bought the Jeep maybe about oh eight years ago it's an 81 I know I'm not the original owner I'm not even the well obviously I'm not the original owner but I'm not even I'm not the second third probably not the fourth owner so a lot of people have had their hands in it messing with it. I've been just been trying to Get it back to just basically stock. These cars, these trucks, these Jeeps, everything, they seem to run best when they're mostly stock. So I kind of like just preserving vehicles, getting them to work as intended, you know. But not not much modification has been done to the jeep you know just some some upgrades here and there to make it run better but there's no uh, ls motor in it or anything like that so i'm sure there's been a lot of people messing with things over the years you know obviously the wiring is on every car the old car the wiring's always messed up so i've been going through all that stuff you know when these boots rip a grease gets everywhere when you're driving all the wind so there's there's grease on every fastener under there steering shaft itself grade eight bolts all right so being a new part it's quite dirty all right all right now this pin this pin we're gonna drift over and from everything I've read they said don't take it out completely because it's a pain getting it back in but I'm gonna just put it in the vise with a socket on there and see if I can move it over all right let's try a half inch socket I'm just going to try and move it so it's flush, just about flush with one side. Let's see if it moves. Not moving. Let me try the other side. Might have to try a little heat. Let's try a little PB blaster.
All right, so it's not moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak it. Uh, I got that little cup there. I don't know if I can zoom in. I can not zoom in. Uh, I just got it sitting in like a little cup, but I'm going to put PB Blaster and just let it soak. These old Jeeps, everything comes off with a fight. Yeah, we'll let that sit for a while. And then uh, we will check back. Check back in a little bit. All right, <clears throat> so it's been soaking for about half hour. And let's just give it a shot and see if, uh, see if it works. Or see if it helped. We get some gloves. All right. Put a pipe on this. All right, so that did nothing. Nothing. Might have to go with a hydraulic press for this one. All right, so using the vise to try and get to drift this pin down is just not working. So I got this uh, bench top uh, press, shop press, and I'm gonna try to press it down uh, using the, the press. And we'll see what happens. So let's see if I can get you a good shot. And here goes nothing. Something went. Something let go. What let go? I think it moved. I think it. I think it might have moved. Did it move at all? Let's back it out and see. Yeah, I think it moved a little bit. I think it moves a little bit. Let's reposition. Try it again. You heard that snap, huh? Six tons. It's going now. Yep. Let me give, give you a closer look here. Bring you close down. See as I crank it, see it going. All right, I'm just gonna bring it even. Put your back. All right. All right, I would have never got that with the vise. There's just no way the vise would have ever got that. You can see it now. And that's what you want. Just want to drive it flush. Okay. All right, you can see here I've got the the clamp that I'm, you have to clamp. This end of the rubber boot gets clamped on. Once it's installed on the shaft, it gets held down on the shaft by this clamp. Now you have to wrangle it over the pin here opening it up and just sort of work it over with some pliers here there you go so it'll make it Let's see if i can show you this pin this clamp here it'll make it over all right now you're supposed to somehow, you want to turn your boot inside out. 
okay? We're gonna do that and then we're gonna grease the end of this. All right, so we're gonna grease up the pin, get all this greased up. You just don't want this boot to rip. So I'm putting grease, there's like a burr on this pin too from using the press and the vise and all that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna just grease it up like crazy. Hopefully that won't tear the boot. And then I'm also gonna put some grease here on the end. If it doesn't wanna go and it's being real stubborn, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit with a heat gun. Not much, but enough to make it pliable. And then work it some more. So let's see here. Just gotta be gentle. Coming slowly. It's getting pretty tight though. I think I might want to heat it up a little bit. Right, let's try that. It's definitely a little warmer. going starting to slide get a little more heat on this There we go. Now it's on. Just gotta put it right side out. There we go. All right. Whew. All right, now we have to push this pin back uh, where it was. So I'll use the press again to do that. Pretty good. I'm just gonna clean up any burrs that are left on this pin. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, as you can see, those little bearings, bearing caps now fit on. Those are the new ones. All right, I'm just gonna clean these parts a little bit, get the filings off and whatnot. Put a little grease inside these caps. It's a little retaining clip. So this is gonna sit on here like this. Okay. But first, I'm gonna pack this with grease. I'm just gonna clean the inside of this out too. You can see from the, uh, right from the factory, it's pretty dirty in there. Not that much. Then we're gonna put this to back on. Make sure all the grease is in there. Some of it wants to squeeze out. Now the boot gets pressed in there. It's fully seated. And then you take the retaining clip and these notches, there's two, this one and this one. There you go. They go in these notches here. If I can show you like this. And this helps retain the boot. Got it. So I did kind of I did kind of squash it a little bit in the vise to make the clip a little sort of the diameter a little smaller, and then I got it in there and used a combination of some pliers and a screwdriver to get it seated in there. Now I just got to get this clip on, hold that end, and we should be good. There we go, fully assembled. All right, now we gotta put it in the car. All right, so I got it in here, positioned in here. You can see I have the end of it on here. The splines are lined up for the most part. Uh, they're pretty lined up, but it's gotta be forced on there, so until it's fully seated. So I'm just using this 
and I'm gonna try and drive it on all the way. I'm gonna call that good. Hope you can see. You can focus a little. There's a little notch in the uh, in the shaft where the coupling has that little notch as well. They have to line up because that's where your bolt will go through. Whew. So now I gotta put the clamp on and there's a little clamp that goes over the housing and you bolt that down, I'm gonna do that now. All right, now that the bottom is on and bolted up, I need to connect the steering shaft and This lines up as well. There's the, this little cutout lines up with the groove on the column. So I gotta turn it, turn the wheel a little bit so it lines up. A little more. All right, so there's a clamp too I gotta get. All right, let's put this clamp on. Splines have to line up, which they're not right now. That looks pretty good. There we go. I just like before you gotta work it. All right, basically just push the steering column from inside. It's gotta go in another like eighth inch. Just about there. Put the bolt in for now. All right, I just put a couple of bolts in the steering column just to hold it. So it's all back together. So probably can't see too well. It's buttoned up down there. I probably showed you that already. Got that bolt on nice and tight. Everything's lined up. Inside. Got the cover on. Got it all tightened down, those bolts there. And then underneath those two bolts, one on each side. They're all bolted down. Now the wheel's a little off. I'll probably, I might have to, you can see it's not straight. I might have to adjust that, make the wheel straight because the old um, assembly had all this play in it and I adjusted the wheel to make it straight uh, with all that play. So I'll probably have to redo it. But it uh, wasn't such a bad project. I'm just gonna clean all this up. Not a bad project at all. Take it for a little test drive. And see how the steering feels.
Well, it's definitely noticeably tighter all around the steering. Wheel's definitely cocked uh, to the left about uh, to like nine o'clock. So I got to turn that. I'll be. I'll do another video on that. But uh, overall, I'd say that was a success. It only took about a weekend. And I was doing it here and there. Uh, it was St. Patty's Day, so I had other things going on. But it didn't really take that long. It wasn't that difficult. And uh, if you have any questions on what I did or you want to make any uh, suggestions or say anything, just comment below. Like or dislike, I don't care. That's, that's good too. But uh, I'll see you all next time. Hey, and if anyone wants a part number for this whole kit... That's that there. No part number there. Yeah, that was really the only part number.